Hi everyone, so in this video we're going to be um, creating our first WX Python graphical user interface, a simple one, um, just to get started on our way to um, embedding a matplotlib plot within our graphical user interface. Um, as you can all see, probably I've now enabled my cursor, so you should be able to see that and actually follow um, what I'm pointing at. So what we want to do first is import WX Python, which is import WX. And now as you can see around this um, idle graphical user interface, there's a frame, or this, this border, and that's called a frame. So when we, when we make our um, graphical user interface, we also want our frame, we need our frame. And that's the fundamental block um, on which we build uh, all the other features of our graphical user interface. So let's, let's create that frame, so we're going to call it my frame, and it's a class. And we're, inter and we're inheriting the frame class of WX Python. So we need to create our init function or init method, which is the first method that's um, run when we create an instance of the myframe um, object. So we pass that self and a parent. And then within this, we want to run the init of the myframe uh, of the of the WX frame object. So let's go ahead and do that. This also takes self, takes a parent. It takes this, this index. I, I'm not sure what this index does really, um, but negative one um, makes it not a problem. So I'm going to go ahead and ignore it. And then in here we um, we write a string which which tells us which will, which will come up here in the top um, title of the frame and tell us um, what it is that we're in. So I'm going to call it plot visualizer, so it's like a title. And that's pretty much everything you need to start your application. So what I like doing down here is writing this condition, which basically means um, if I'm running this um, this code from this from, from this module directly, it will it'll execute whatever this is is within this this um, this if condition. Um, and if it's not, then it won't. So let's go ahead and say main. And now we're going to create an object called app, which is wx app. And that um, takes false. And then our frame will equal my frame. We remember we have to um, specify a parent. We're going to call none because this is the parent. This is the the, the top of the food chain. And we're going to then um, show on the show method on our frame, and then start um, a loop called main loop, which will basically listen to any um, user inputs into our graphical user interface. It will listen out for somebody clicking on a button or clicking on a on a spin control, or whatever, to then update. Um, our graphical user interface matplotlib plots. So if we save this and then run this, we've created this lovely first graphical user interface, which is um, just nothing, just called plot visualizer. And what we'll do now, because we've got a bit more time, is fill that frame with something called a panel. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll call it. We'll just write a comment here saying frame items. So things that go within the frame, and we'll create something called a panel, and that's a wx dot panel um, object, and that takes our our self. It takes the instance, and so now panel dot set background because we want to set it to um, a different color. Thankfully for me, uh, wx python was written in the English version of the language English <laughs> and color is spelled that way. A bit annoying and a bit later on we're going to be using other modules which um, like matplotlib which is written in American English so you just got to be careful when you're when you're writing code just to not make mistakes otherwise it'd be a bit of a pain. So we're saying that to wipe, save, run. You can now see that this um, graphical user interface has a panel within the frame, so it's within this border, which I've now specified to be white. And then everything else goes into that. Every other object, um, whether it be a wx dot button or wx dot spin control or another uh, another frame, if you uh, another like panel, 
um, can go within that and be children of the, um, the parent, which is the wx.frame. So I'll stop there and um, look forward to further videos.